Okay, so here is the Shane Plays uh, Let's Play video, part one, for the Shadowrun Returns user-generated content called Entumbra. And this is uh, available in the Steam Workshop. It's part one of two. There's another um, user-generated module you can uh, subscribe to. This is uh, part two. So let's check it out, see what we're about to get into. Uh, it says, uh, powerful foes plot to take down Seattle's newest nightclub. Will you do the job cleanly or go looking for trouble? So it sounds like we're going to be uh, taking the nightclub down. This is a short but intense mission aimed at new characters. You'll start with 42 karma and a chunk of new yen, but no gear. Be sure to buy some equipment before the shooting starts. No matrix runs in this mission, sorry. There are a couple of optional decking challenges, but deckers are probably the hardest archetype to play. On a side note, I kind of agree with that when it comes to a computer game. Uh, it's really cool to hack the net and be a decker and all that, but in the computer version of Shadowrun Returns, at least, it almost seems like it's an add-on rather than, you know, like core. I guess you could develop modules where that's all you do, and maybe people will do that. But when you know you're in the real world, and then you kind of jack off into the uh, um, cyber world, then um, it it just feels kind of tacked on so far. Not that it isn't fun, it just doesn't feel core. Um, it says samurai, shaman, and mage have received the most play testing, play testing and balancing so far. That's me getting back to the text. So. A few features, recruit one of two companion runners or go it alone for an extra challenge. Each companion has their own personality and occasionally interject in conversations or comment on the action. That's a nice touch for a user generated module. Friendly to both black trench coats and pink mohawks. Do the leg work to infiltrate the club or march in and start shooting. So I guess there's different play styles. Uh, environmental lighting including a thunderstorm and a dynamic dance floor multiple solutions to challenges, two different endings based on the uh, choices you make in the game. Um, gives a thanks out here to people helping with playtesting development. So this content is fairly short, probably less than an hour to complete. Enjoy your night on the town. After beating this module, you can import your character into Antumbra 2 Eclipse, which will continue your runner's story and explore the results of the decisions you made. So, this, this should be fun. Um, I really enjoy Dead Man's Switch. Looking forward to exploring some of the uh, user-generated content. I tried um, From the Shadows Run, which is really highly rated one, and I think I ran into a bug at the end of, uh, or in during one battle, where all my enemies were marked neutral. I couldn't fight back. And when they stomped me down, it, it said uh, mission failed. So I don't know, maybe I, I, I haven't looked deeper. Um, so I, I wanted to try a different one. And this has four stars after 97 ratings. So with much ado, or without much ado, either way, let's uh, let's go build our character and, and stuff. So here we are at the screen, the main loading screen for Shadowrun. Um, going to choose new game and I've subscribed to Antumbra in the workshop so there it is uh, it's got it's ready to go um, this text here is kind of the same as we've already read uh, so let's uh, launch campaign I don't know why that does that um, in windowed mode it kind of jitters over when I start a game so I'm going to choose uh, male, and there's no statistical difference. Uh, I've been playing dwarves. Let's see. Dwarf. All humans have a plus three to karma to start the game. That's not bad. Uh, elf. Plus one to charisma. Hmm. Some good starting stats or maximum stats. Hmm. 
body. They can be pretty darn tough. I guess I'm going to go with a Jorf again. I don't know why, that just kind of appeals to me. And if you're familiar with these Shadowrun classes or professions, um, then you already know what this is. If not, you have a Street Samurai, which is a kind of a, just a warrior, the tank warrior kind of guy. Uses guns and melee, grenades, whatnot. Uh, mage, you know, magic user, wizard, uh, archetype type of character. Decker, that's your hacker. They can uh, not only hack computers, but it's what's called jack into the net and, um, you know, run it like virtual reality. William Gibson, neuromancer type stuff. Uh, shamans, they're also magical, but they call on spirits. And spirits do their heavy lifting. Riggers, they use sort of drones, uh, little kind of robot uh, companions to do stuff. And then a physical adept. And an adept is basically a martial artist with chi or chai. They can focus that and do magic um, along along those lines. So, uh, also I'll point it out just in case you're not familiar, or I'll, I need to point out, you can be a human, an elf, a dwarf, an orc, or a troll. And an orc is big, dumb, tough, and trolls are bigger, tougher, and dumber. So. It's just the the Cliff's notes. So I, you know, I'm a big fan of the Street Samurai, uh, and since it sounds like this is going to be pretty combat oriented, or it can be, I'm I'm going to stick with that. So I've got my different dwarf options here. Um, that's kind of a it always gets me is that, that suave dwarf. He's kind of cybered up. Now, Dead Man's Switch, I played this guy, and I called him Red, and I, and I really kind of liked that character, but let's see if I can be a little different. <laughs> this looks pretty whacked out. It's kind of interesting, this fusion of high fantasy and cyberpunk. Shadow Runs. I was since the I think it came out in the late 80s as a tabletop RGB, RPG. It's always really intrigued me. Uh, kind of liking this guy. And if I wanted to, I could unlock Otto, and he doesn't have horns, but I could change his beard color and mess around with him. But you know, I. I'm pretty happy with how he looks here, so I'm going to lock that and continue. Uh, spending karma. Karma are your build points, so you can build your character. And then also, uh, as you play the game, you get karma, which is basically experience points, and you can use it to keep improving your character. So it serves both as your initial build points and your continuing um, improvement points. Let's see, I've got 14 karma available, and there's already some basic. I've got a body of four, quickness of three, strength of three, intelligence of two, willpower of three, and a charisma of two. I'm gonna, I, I want him to be able to deal and take damage. And last time I kind of started off focusing on melee this time I'm gonna focus on uh, his uh, guns. So I'm gonna bump his quickness by one. I'm gonna give him a couple of points of range combat. Let's see, do I want a rifle, shotgun, submachine gun, or pistol? submachine gun. That leaves me three points of karma and uh, just kind of wanting to bump my body but I can't. Don't have enough karma. So I'm going to bump his dodge. That leaves me one
karma point and I'm gonna just hold on to that. You have unspent karma, are you sure? Uh, you may spend karma later. Yeah, I'm sure. And etiquette, etiquette is uh, basically the ability to know how to act in certain social situations, um, you know, to either not to your disadvantage or hopefully to your advantage, uh, being able to use it to your advantage. So I, I'm going to go with street. You know, it really depends on this module developer, what they've programmed in, but street always seems to be a good one for me for a Shadowrun game. And uh, many runners use a street name. Well, my other dwarf was named Red. Uh, I think of this guy, I'll go with Blackie. So, confirm. And we're in. This is Everett. Far from the gritty glamour of downtown Seattle, Everett is mostly just gritty. That's been changing in recent years as money from the Mafia and UCAS, I think that's the United Confederate States, uh, I think. There's This is in the future and things are a little bit different. Uh, and UCAS filters down the street level. Lately, everyone has been talking about Atumbra, an elaborately nightclub built in the middle of a dilapidated, dilapidated even neighborhood. Backed by the infamous entertainment magnate known only as Cali, Atumbra and Tumbra seeks to make a splash on local society. You hop out of a taxi and take in the scene. Somewhere in this chaos waits Mr. Johnson. He was vague about your job and insisted it would be easy for the pay. You know better than that. Nobody ever bothers hiring a shadow runner for the easy stuff. And if you're not familiar with the universe or backstory of Shadowrun, basically shadow runners are people who are either outright illegal or kind of on the fringes of legality. They earn their living, you know, basically doing jobs for people that, uh, you know, once again are either outright illegal or, or very possibly quasi-legal. Um, basically just doing other people's dirty work. And um, they, most shadow runners don't have what's the equivalent of social security number. They're kind of outside of polite society. They're kind of off the grid in a certain way. So that's what you are as a shadow runner. And here I am. So now that we've uh, done the character and had the intro, I'm going to stop the video here and we'll pick up next time with uh, the actual beginning of the story. Thanks for watching, and I definitely hope you stick around for the rest of the story and future videos.